am the master of the headless dead. I say, guard. Just call me Swiss, sir. Spelled with an E at the end. Uh, yes, 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 of course. You remind me before. What were you about to say, sir? I was about to observe that this Tower of London is quite a historic place. That it is, sir. Historic indeed. And uh, haunted, I have heard tell. Oh, have you now, sir? Oh, yes. Don't tell me you haven't heard stories about the Tower's ghost. Perhaps I have. Perhaps not. Of course, I don't believe that sort of rubbish, you know. Rubbish? Certainly rubbish. <laughs> don't tell me, Mr. Swift, uh, with an E. Don't tell me you believe in such things as ghosts and, uh, and haunts. What I believe, sir, I believe. Certainly not the legend of the gambling spook of Wycott Hall. The ghost invariably appears whenever a gambling game is in progress at Wycott Hall here in the tower. And always wins the stakes. Yes. Don't tell me you believe such a fantastic yarn as that. Or, or such an unbelievable story as the one about the pig-faced specter of the rectory. I imagine Brother Randolph would tell you there's nothing fantastic about the story at all. Brother Randolph? Yes, sir. He's the overseer of the rectory. He's seen the specter many times. Well, he's probably just superstitious. Brother too. Randolph says the thing is always dressed in a long black cloak. As the body of a human... But the face is that of some grotesque and repulsive animal. <laughs> it sounds like an old wives' tale. Oh, mind you, sir, I'm, I'm not trying to convince you about such things. Uh, perhaps the entrance to the choir loft, the chapel over there. Hmm, chapel. Didn't know there was one in here. It's a chapel of St. Peter at Vincula. Is it uh, possible for me to go in there? Well, Picking your body, sir, that's what the climb up the stairs was for. We always like to show visitors the choir loft, the chapel. Well, then, uh, let's have a gander at the place, shall we? Yes, it is, sir. Yeah, yeah the key. We always keep this locked. No uh, abbot than anything else. Nobody ever climbs those steps unless they're showing them through the tower. Sir? Yeah, I say. It's dark in there. Oh, how about a light, my man? Oh, no, blimey. I completely forgot to turn the lights on. The fuse box down below. If you don't mind waiting, sir. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Wait. I wouldn't ask anyone to climb those steps again. There's enough light coming through the stained glass panes. I say, would you lead the way? Yes, 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 of course. Uh, watch your steps, sir. Uh, step up here. Ah. There you are, sir. You can observe the chapel below, sir. Yes. Deserted looking, isn't it? It isn't as deserted as you might think, sir. Hmm? What was that? You see only as far as you permit yourself to see, sir. I don't believe I understand. If you look for emptiness, sir, you see emptiness. But it is empty down there. Is it, sir? I suppose you're trying to tell me this chapel is haunted, too. As it is right to be, sir. Right. Yes, indeed. You see, sir, it's the burial place of the headless dead. <laughs> it's another of those idiotic legends. Hardly a legend. You see those flagstones down there, in front of the altar? And frankly, yes. Those stones... For more than just the sanctuary floor, sir, there are also tombstones. Why do you tell me such a thing as that, Mr. Swift? Because it's truth. You mean people are buried beneath those flagstones? Including, I might add, two of England's queens. Not actually. Oh, yes, actually. I've never heard that before. Few people have, sir. Then... That's why you say the place down there isn't deserted. In a manner of speaking, that's what I mean. Yes. Have you observed the huge pipe organ here in the loft, sir? Hmm? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I noticed when we came in. But getting back to what you were talking... It's quite a famous instrument, I must say. Been played by dozens of famous people. 
Oh, it has. Uh, uh, could I play it? Well, it's, it's against regulation, sir, but, well, if you play softly, sir. Oh, now, I say that's, that's mighty good of you. I do have somewhat of a reputation for playing the organ. You play well, sir. Quite well. Thank you. It's a rather old instrument, isn't it? Hmm. Beautiful tone, though. Beautiful. Before it's too late, play. That voice, what is it? No one knows. He always speaks like that in Latin. Whenever a stranger plays his organ for the first time. Who is it? Why does he do that? There is no explanation. I must admit, sir, I've often heard of the ghost of St. Peter's Chapel, but this is the first time I've actually heard him. He always does that? Whenever a stranger plays his organ for the first time. Will he return if I play again? No. He always speaks just once. And he's never heard again until another organist plays for the first time. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. I, I see, sir. It's, it's about closing time. Do you mind if I leave you now? I, I know, I know. Of course not. You uh, recall your way out of the tower, I trust. We could on a while longer, if you wish. And I'll return later to lock this car loft. But I... I don't know whether I want to remain here. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, sir. You're quite all right. Besides, you don't believe in such rubbish as ghosts. Yes, but I... I'm happy to have showed you around, sir. By the way, what did you say your name is? Holman. Frederick J. Holman. Well, then I'm very happy to have known you, Mr. Holman. Who knows? Perhaps your visit here will make you a changed man. Hmm. Now, whatever did he mean by that? I say, what's come over me? I feel so sleepy. Yes, sleepy. 